Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my slice of heaven outdoors. I'm Joey. I was tagged by Rob the Sapper Gardener over at Essayon's Family Garden for a commute video to just talk about my commute to and from work or to and from my property. So I'm going to try to touch bases on both a little bit. I hope this video comes out. Uh, I'm sorry for the vertical film. I'm in my truck and my phone holder is a cradle, three-sided cradle, so it only holds it one way. That's what I'm using to film this video. So stick around, come along, and I'll tell you a little bit about my commute. Alright guys, first thing every morning I do is I got to get up, I get the kids up for school, and then I drive them to school. Our kids go to two different schools, um, time I leave the house, round trip, get back to the house, it's a, about a 30 minute drive, not too bad. Some days are pleasant, or I should say some days are more pleasant than others, today was a pleasant day. We chose our kids go to private school so they have no bus pickup or bus drop off so we uh, take them back and forth to school and I really don't know where I'm going to go with this video because if you guys have watched my videos you know I'm not much of a talker I usually just like to uh, video stuff and I might talk a little bit in the video and then just post it, but this video is not really, well, this one's going to be a lot more talking. Uh, my commute to work, let's, yeah, let's talk about my commute to work first. I really don't have much of a commute. As most of you all know, I do lawn and landscaping. I've slowly transitioning to just mainly uh, lawn cutting. Uh, downsizing quite a bit as far as landscape work and such goes. I, I do mostly grass cutting. I uh, do some mulching. I do some yard cleanups in the spring and fall. I've never really done anything with plants. I was more into the hardscaping side. If people did want me to plant something, a tree or plants, they would have to go get them and then just show me where they wanted them and I would plant them. Uh, but my work for lawn mowing is within about a four mile radius from my house. So I don't really have a whole lot of commute. I do have a lot of stopping and going between yards but for the most part, like today, my first stop, I have one yard and then two houses down. From that, I have another two yards. So I have three yards right there on the same road. And I'll do anywhere between eight and 12 yards a day. Uh, today, I'll be starting out by myself. My son does help me some days. Well, most days he helps and he also has a another job that he works uh, security plus he's going to school so that's enough for that let's get back to my commute so like I said I don't really have a whole lot of a commute so what I'm going to do is just video a little bit about my day at work and then after I do this segment about work I will discuss my commute to and from my property so I hope you guys enjoy I will talk more after a little bit of the video
All right, guys, we're pulling out the driveway. You got to see how I uh, load the truck and get my day started. And we're off to the first yard. Like I said, my most of my, well, just about all of my yards are in four, four to five mile radius of our house. I've never really measured it, but it's not that far. I just have to go to a couple of different subdivisions to get all the lawns done. I try to schedule them all for the same area on that same day, but it does not always work out like that. Uh, I usually like to start with the farthest one away first and work my way back toward the house. It's just all we have always done it. I've never really had a job where I've had to commute much. Uh, yeah, when I was younger, like in school, I did some weekend jobs. I used to do uh, some construction work with my uncles and cousins, and sometimes that would take us to Virginia. But they drove. I just basically slept in the back seat or the back of the van or whatever. Uh, then after after I got out of school, I did roofing for a little while. Now that, there was a little bit of commute with that because again, sometimes you went to Virginia, went to different parts of Maryland. Uh, we even went down to Southern Maryland one time. This place called La Plata. And did an old uh, farmhouse. Had wooden shingles on it. That was pretty cool. Um, after that, I went to work for another roofing company, and that was pretty much basically within a 10 to 15 mile area from where I lived at, so that wasn't much of a commute. Then after that, I went to work at a temp agency for a little bit, uh, at a bookbinding company. And again, that was six or seven miles from my house. So again, that wasn't much of a commute. And then right after that, I, I got a job at a corrugation company. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where they make boxes. Uh, they corrugate the paper, which is the little wavy things on the middle of a card bo cardboard box. And then they slap two sheets of plywood, uh, not plywood, two sheets of paper they glued to the uh, corrugation and basically that makes a box it'll come out as a flat sheet and then I'll run it through other machines to actually cut out the pattern and print it uh, and I worked on the machine I did a couple different machines when I first started working there but toward the end I worked mainly on the down stacker which was on the corrugator and then I went into the clamp truck driver um, and again, there was no commute there. We actually, I actually walked to work a few times a week. All we had to do was cut through the woods behind our house and we were there. It was, it wasn't even a mile from the house. And he cut through the woods, made it even shorter. Um, I did that for seven years. Didn't really like it. My dad did it for 43 years. But yeah, I did not like it. I uh, did it for seven years, and then I went into lawn and landscaping. And I've been doing this for going, this will be my 29th year, I believe. 28th year, this is my 28th year. Uh, and I love it. Well, I used to love my job. Uh, when I was in Maryland, at one point I had about seven employees. went through multiple employees over the years they just they just couldn't hang and but I did at the, at the end there I had seven near the end I should say I had seven pretty good employees uh, but near the end they all decided there was really no advancement in 
lawn care for them. I mean, you don't really make a whole lot of money at this unless you're the owner. Uh, so they pretty much went all their different ways. We was doing about 150 lawns a week then. And they pretty much left. A couple of them had been working for me for a couple years. And, and I don't blame them one bit. I mean, they all got better jobs. One guy went into the Navy. One guy went into a, a crane operator kind of uh, business. Another one went to work for the county or the state or electric company. I forget what it was. And Pretty much they all just found better jobs. And they kind of all left at the same period. And I, and I don't blame them one bit for leaving. But that left it on me and my oldest son. We were actually working. We would get up like 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Go get the mowers ready. And as soon as it got daylight enough to start working, well, we had to wait till 7. Because that's a, like a, a lull. No construction noise in a community before 7 o'clock. So we would wait till 7 o'clock, get started. We would make sure we was at the house, at, at the first house at 7 o'clock. And we would work until it was so dark we couldn't see the grass anymore. And then I would come home. I would send my oldest son up to the house to order food I would stay down in the garage and get the mowers ready for the next day which consisted of sharpening the blades checking the oil knocking the dust out of the air filters and by the time I'd get up to the house it'd be 10 o'clock at night so I would eat whatever he ordered well we usually got the same thing we usually got like a cheesesteak some french fries or sometimes we got uh, salad and some chicken strips or whatever but I would eat that and then we would go straight to bed get up and do it again and we did that for whew, last two or th two years well we did that for about two years and the second year I actually dropped back a lot of lawn so we wasn't trying to keep up with 150 just him and me and at this point I was done hiring employees I didn't want to go through this through it anymore I wouldn't mind having employees again. Well, actually, no, I don't want them again. But the reason I didn't look to hire anymore, I didn't want to go through the training again. I had to train them what to do. I know a lot of people think grass cutting is easy, but you're only doing your yard. Try working for 150 different people. It's a lot of work. Um, this, this video is going to be long. I'm sorry, everybody, but it's going to be long. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want to go through the whole thing of training people again. And then my last year or two in Maryland, after my son and I kept up with that for, like I said, close to two years, then the next year I got a little help. Uh, and then that person went and joined the Army. So then it was back to me and my son again. And then a friend of mine, he used to help out every once in a while. And then whenever somebody wasn't working and wanted to make extra money, they would come help us out. Uh, and like I said, in Maryland, I loved my job. And we just pulled up to the first house, by the way. And I'm not going to film this house because this lady's a little picky about things. So, But I will show you a little bit of footage at the next house. Uh... Where was I at now? Oh yeah, I just I used to love my job when I was in Maryland. I told everybody it was a hobby. I had already weeded out a lot of the hard people to work for. Um, a lot of some of my customers I had for nearly twenty years. That's how that's how long I had them. They liked my work. They were just called and say, Joey, come, go do this for me while you're there. And I'll say, okay. Never had to worry about it. going to give a price. They knew my prices were fair. I could just go there and do the work. And I didn't have to deal with a whole lot of people there. Well, I mean, yeah, I had 150 different houses, so that's basically 150 bosses, but they they all knew me. They knew me for a long time. They trusted me. I could just go there and do the work, send them a bill. But then I got to Missouri. And so I'm starting all over.
uh, really starting to hate my job now. Uh, yeah. I just don't like dealing with a lot of people. That's putting it nicely. Oh, man. I don't know what to say. That one lady called me. I've been cutting her grass down for three years, and she calls me four, five, six, seven, ten times a week. Are you still cutting my grass on Thursday? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be there on Thursday like I am every Thursday. Okay. Call the next day. Jerry, I just want to make sure you're going to be here on Thursday. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be here on Thursday. So what I usually do is I, at the end of the season, I'll send out my agreements or contracts, whatever you want to call them, just to let people know that I'm still here. Price is going to be the same or different or whatever. Just sign it, send it back. So this same lady I'm talking about got the letter, wants me to do a yard cleanup. I'm going to do the yard cleanup. And whenever I do her yard, she's always saying, they said this, they said that. They said do it this way. They said do it that way. So from the time I cleaned her yard to the time I cut her grass, which was only like seven days, she called me 20 times within that seven days. So then when I finally get there, she says, oh, I wasn't sure you was coming or not. I hired somebody else. That's fine. I, I really, I was having a hard time taking her back this year anyway. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I'd already cut her grass, and then she tells me this. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So then I leave. Not an hour later, she calls me back saying, you coming back next week? Well, I was like, I don't know. You just told me you hired somebody else. Yeah, but I don't know about this guy. Now, he's never stepped foot on her property, I'm guessing, or her yard, because now she's saying she don't know about him. And I know I'm ranting now, so this could be a long video. Uh, so after we talk some more, talk some more. I said, yeah, I'll be there next Thursday. She calls me again later that day. I finally, I, like, I'm not answering it. She calls me back again. I, I'm not answering it. So then she calls the next day. Uh, I just want to make sure you, you were still coming. I didn't hear from you, so I went ahead and got somebody else. I'm like, okay, well, that's good. I'll talk to you later. Hung up. Oh, my gosh, guys. She calls me back two or three more times that day. I didn't answer no more. She calls me back the next day. She goes, I just want to make sure you're coming. I was like, no, I'm not coming back no more. She goes, why? I said, well, you told me you hired somebody else. So I've got somebody else to fill your slot. She goes, oh, well, I'm glad you got somebody else to fill your slot, but I really don't know about this guy. I'm like, well, you told me you had somebody else, and I really can't fit you in now. And then she starts going, well, I really like your work, so if you ever want, you sure you won't come back? I'm like, I'm not coming back. She goes, why? I was like, there's too many days in talking about your lawn there they said this they said that they do that this way they do it that way they said to raise it higher they said to cut it lower finally I just told her I said I'm not coming back and she said okay you would think that would be the end of it right no she's done call me three more times but I won't answer no more all right guys I uh, I got to get back to work now. I'm at my first yard. This was supposed to be a uh, video about commute. But uh, I'll take some more video here in a minute. All right, guys. I just finished the first yard. Uh, it took me roughly 35, 40 minutes to cut that yard. Uh, but while I was here... Actually, I was thinking about something I said a little bit earlier that uh don't remember what the word was I used about not liking my job since I've started over. Uh, but if I use the word hate, that's kind of a strong word. I really enjoy my work, really. I just, it's just starting over kind of sucks. But it was well worth it, though. Uh, yeah, I don't really hate... I don't hate my job. It's just... It sucks having to start all over and build up the clients again and get to the point where I want to be at. And I really don't want to be that big. I just want to do about 40, 50 yards a week and that's that's it. Uh, but 
this is about my commute. So now we're going to go show you my next commute. We just finished the first yard. While I was here, I did talk to the lady across the street. She wants me to start cutting her grass next next time I come. So I will have four right here on the street. So let me show you my commute to the next yard. All right, we're leaving yard number one. And if you notice, I'm driving on the left-hand side because I'm not going far. Hey, I'm here. Yards number two and three are right here side by side. I literally went. I skipped one house. <laughs> and we're here. just finished my yards two and three took me a little less than an hour to do both of them that's the one good thing about having yards close together uh, I want to go back and touch on what I said again about not liking my job as much anymore and it's not that I don't like to work I love the work it's just starting over getting your lawns and your customer, your clients, whatever you want to call them, back up to where you want it to be and how you want it to be. It's just taking me a little bit longer than I thought it would. This is my fourth year cutting grass here in Missouri, 2016, 17, 18, and 19. This is the fourth year, or fourth season, I should say. And I thought by now it would be to where I wanted to be and have the customers that I wanted. But it's just taking a little bit longer. I know I will get there eventually and I can just go work and not have to deal with a lot of people. But, uh, yeah. And I think that's the last time I'll talk about that because I, I know I keep getting off topic because this is supposed to be about our commute. But I really don't have too much to say about my commute. Uh, so sorry about that, Rob. Uh, all right. Let's go to yards four and five.
because that's my daily commute. That's about the average commute. Some days are longer, some days are shorter. Just wanted to uh, thank Rob over at Essayon's Family Garden for tagging me in this video. It uh, gave me something to do. It's been a while since I've been to the property. All that's left for me to do right now is back the trailer in the driveway and unload the trailer. I know this video was more than just about my commute, but like I said, I didn't really know what to say about my commute. I think I'm going to make this a two-part video because I never really talked about the commute to the property. And I know this video here is a little long, so I don't want to make it any more longer and more boring than what it already is. Uh, I'm supposed to tag a couple people. I think I want to tag. Hidden Valley Homestead. I know he's about 10 hours away from his property. Might have been a little bit more than that. I'd like to hear about his commute back, back and forth to his property and why he chose a place so far away and how he found a place so far away. I'd also like to tag Chad and Shelby over at North Country Off Grid. Uh, I know they're pretty far away from stores and stuff. I'd like to hear about their commute to and from work or to and from the store. And let's tag uh, the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Uh, tell us about your commute to and from stores or to and from whatever you have to do. Uh, off your homestead. So let's hear about that. Those are the three people I'm tagging and look out for part two and I'll probably end up tagging a couple other people in that part two. Uh, if I did not mention your name for a tag and you want to do this just go ahead and do it. Make a video and I'm sure we'll all be happy to watch it. Until next time you all have a great day.